Nearly 13,000 runners and walkers took to the streets today for the 41st annual Portland Marathon. Runner's World has ranked this race as one of the top 10 largest marathons in the U.S. and among the top 10 running events in the world. More than 83 vans lined the 26.2 mile course to keep runners motivated throughout the race. If you are hoping to run next year, participants have some advice for you. Start slow, do a couple of 10Ks. You know, anybody with any, you know, unless you've got like, you know, some medical reason why you can't, you can train and get one of these things in six, six months. If you just stick to it, and it's, you know, it's the most rewarding thing you'll ever do in your life. It just turns yourself from a couch potato into one of these people, you know, it's really nice. Now, among the finishers, a blind man named Stephen Gokey ran his second Portland Marathon and his 29th overall race today. Breast cancer survivor Carol Dellinger ran her 34th Portland Marathon and her 265th race overall. And two runners tied the knot in the middle of the marathon today. Katie Holmes and Eric Johansson said, I do, on mile 20 in Columbia Park. Their minister tells us the couple reconnected years ago after Katie spotted Eric while running the race. The bride, as you can see, wore a white running cap with a veil while the groom sported a dry fit tux. Both are avid runners and they wanted to incorporate that into their ceremony while being surrounded with friends, family, and their son. Well, they're kind of an unconventional couple. And uh, order of uh, relationship milestones don't seem to make much difference as long as they occur. And they really love each other. And their little boy, Merritt, is just a wonderful little boy. Now, of course, after this couple tied the knot, they finished the 26.2-mile race.